Good evening. My name is Randy Adkins, your host, and welcome to Sports Sound Off. This evening, our guest is Thaddeus Billard, former Gator and uh, for, former uh, arena football star. And uh, I have come to find out a, uh, a former high school coach as well and current rising star in the WWE. Uh, we're going to get to talk about uh, all your career. Uh, I want to welcome those that have been following this conversation regarding sports. We're going to be talking about not only Thaddeus's career, but also obviously some of the uh, sports events the last week or so. Um, we'll be talking about Rays baseball. Uh, the Rays lost their, uh, their final game of the season last night against the Rangers. Uh, I'm sure there are several uh, sports fans in the area that want to talk about that. Uh, we've got the Bucks to talk about. We've got uh, the Lightning playing tonight to talk about in college football. Um, but first, uh, Thaddeus, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I oh, really great. appreciate being here. Oh, great. Uh, you know, we were talking a little bit before we went on the air, and uh, one of the things that, uh, that's true is you never know about, about people. Uh, uh, I, I know you wore the number 11 at Florida, right. which right. was reserved for guys right. during Spurrier's uh, coaching career right. who really were outstanding. Um, did you think you were going to go to the University of Florida early on? Was that something that was even on your horizon? No, I, uh, I had a, a lot of options, you know, coming out of high school, and uh, uh, I grew up a Florida State fan. And uh, okay. that's because uh, a lot of my family members went there. My cousin, Rodney Dobard, played basketball there. Oh, cool. And so uh, it was one of those things where I always followed them. But um, the more and more I, uh, the farther along I got in my high school career, I, uh, the value of an education as well as uh, being able to notice who's going where at, at the time uh, really played a huge part in me deciding to go to the University of Florida. I was looking at life after football and, right, and uh, right. once everything was done and I felt like gaining an education period from any school would have benefited me, but I, I just felt like the University of Florida gave me the best opportunity to be successful after football was over. Right. Now, now uh, you were born in Boynton, mm -hmm. Boynton Beach, but you told me that you went to school in Live Oak. Right. How'd that work out? How'd that uh, happen? Yeah, I went to a place called the Florida Sheriff's Boys Ranch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a youth facility that have five around the state of Florida. Uh, as a youth, I had a lot of uh, issues with controlling my temper. Uh, as most youth do today, I was very uh, uh, non, uh, non-communicative with, uh, with the right people and, and uh, very, very strong and aggressive with uh, the way my approach. Right. Um, wouldn't listen to anybody, uh, no matter what, how old yeah. you were, just complete lack of respect for my elders. And uh, went to the boys' ranch and had an opportunity to uh, be sewn into as far as uh, showing me a different way of life, a different outlook on life, and, and uh, I'm very grateful for that experience because had I not gone there, uh, I wouldn't be sitting next to you in, in no. the position that I'm in today. No, and, you, and it, who knows where you'd be. I mean, right. that, that's one of those mm. things where so often kids slip through the cracks right. and, and right. Uh, having an opportunity, that's tremendous. Now, you went to Florida in 96, right. Right. <laughs> and you redshirt the national championship right. year. Right. Um, and then you get the, the next four years after that had to be just exciting stuff. It was great football being played there at that time. How was that experience? Uh, it's an awesome experience. Uh, I would say outside of uh, playing in the swamp, uh, LSU, who we just lost to yeah. last weekend, yeah. um, was, a, was, was a great place to play. But all schools uh, in the Southeastern Conference were great places to play. Coach Burry was an excellent coach, uh, very good competitor. Uh, he loved to win, and I loved to win as well. So. Yeah. Um, that was kind of a match made in heaven. And, uh, but, you know, my whole experience at the University of Florida was, was very good as, from being as a student and as an athlete. So uh, I was, I was, I'm very proud of, of being, being an alumnus there, and I'm uh, especially proud of having the opportunity to wear the orange and blue on the All football right. field. Well, that's great. You, know, I, you, know, you talk about the idea that, that education was mm -hmm. something that you were looking toward, right. and you knew that – now, obviously – at Florida where you're expecting right. to come out and play right. pro ball right. afterward. Right, right. You went and played arena ball. Right. Um, were, was the idea, okay, I'm going to play arena ball because I know that guys are jumping to the NFL, or how did? Well, it was one of the cases when I came out of college, I uh, signed with Jacksonville Jaguars. Right. I, uh, I was actually going to be done with football altogether. Uh, I had tore my ACL there mm -hmm. and uh, got the opportunity to play arena football. and. Um, Find out I only had to work six months out of the year, right? And uh, the other six months I can do whatever I chose to do, which uh, led into me uh, coaching high school football during right. the off season. Right. And 
it was an opportunity for me to stay active with the game mm -hmm. as well as uh, make a good living off of it and, and, uh, and be able to continue to, to grow as a, as a man. Wow. Now you were talking about arena arena football and, mm -hmm. and all the things that go on in there. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at a fifty yard field and right. being on essentially a hockey rink, right. guys banging against the boards, playing right. both ways. Right. It's almost like being a kid again. Yeah, it's uh, it was it literally was like being in high school all over again as far as uh, playing offense, then playing defense, and towards the latter part of my career. We, uh, we ended up having to only play one side of the ball, which was fine. Right. But I, I, I really enjoyed when we had to play both sides of the uh, ball and then run down on kickoff and right. then come back on kickoff return. It was true Ironman football, which yeah. you do not get the, any of that uh, at all unless you're in high school nowadays because of yeah. the way sports are set up. But it still was a great experience. I think it's a, a wonderful game. A lot of guys have played it for several years, and mm -hmm. I was glad to see it come back this year. And our Tampa Bay Storm, wow made it to the championship game, so you know, I was very proud of that as there's well. There's a huge legacy here in Tampa right. with Coach Markham and, right. and, and everything going on. Great they, coach. Great coach. They've right. so many things going on, the war on I-4 right. and all the things happening. And, and uh, you know, for me, you, you watch that, and you, mm -hmm. and I, what I think of is you got to have almost have eyes in the back of your head sometimes because right. it's yeah. so close. Are so close. Especially if you got guys like that, he's bullet running out there that'll hit you <laughs> at, at any time, at any point. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you love the contact yes, of the comments. Yes, I love the contact before and after the whistle. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, that's, that's, I mean, that's what you want to hear. Right, I mean, the guy, right. that's, what, that's what the guy you want coming after right. a, a quarterback. Right. You played against, well, heck, you played against quarterback, probably the best quarterback and best known and probably best quarterback in the league right now, Peyton Manning. Right. When you're standing on, on the side, side waiting to, to, what are you thinking? Uh, I just, I just want. I'm, I'm happy to be on the same field with the guy, uh, but to be able to have had the opportunity to sack him and hit him several times, uh, it was great. Actually, uh, a lot of people don't know, um, but Peyton was my host when I went on my co college recruiting visit to really? to uh, to Tennessee. Oh, wow. And uh, had he not ditched me for a girl, I probably would have still ended up. <laughs> in the, I probably still. So it's all his yeah. fault. You went to Florida. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> okay. uh, for those Tennessee fans that are in here in the area, uh, you can thank Peyton Manning oh, for, that's great. for giving me the opportunity to go to Florida. <laughs> and then you got a chance to sack him later on. Yeah, really, exactly. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, it was a good payback. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh, that's great. Now, I, I got for those that want to call in and comment or ask questions, our uh, number here in the studio is 813-254-7820, or you can send us an email at sportsoundoff at AOL.com. Feel free to send us an email. We'll be happy to, to get that email on the air. Um, now, we've been talking about your arena career. You, you played to several different teams. Right. Um, when did you get to the idea where you said, you know, I want to dish this whole football thing mm -hmm. and uh, go wrestle? Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I had I have friends that that were that were in the business okay. uh, that while I was playing, a lot of them were trying to encourage me to come and do it, and uh, I was very hesitant on doing it because I grew up with, watching it as a fan with my grandfather, and uh, after he passed you away, too. I kind of yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And uh, once he passed away, I kind of distanced myself from the sport because it was something that we did and watched every Saturday morning. Right. And uh, but. Uh, you know, I got got a great opportunity to go and try it out and look at it, uh, look at the opportunity and and uh, kind of fell in love with it right away. It is definitely the hardest thing I've ever done really? uh, in my life. Yeah. Uh, now, see, that's it's interesting yeah. to say. We, you know, I imagine the athleticism. Right, right. You know, it takes incredible athleticism and, and to be able to, to do what you need to do there. Right. You know, and we all understand we're being entertained. Right. At the same time, you got guys that are. All very large. Right, right. <laughs> you were, you were right. attempting to do things that you shouldn't right. have to do. It's, right. Uh, yeah. It's it's uh you know and you got to think too and in football you can somewhat control your your uh, your your outcome and as far as you know wh what position you're in just based on having good technique and things right. like that, but your life is in someone else's hand each match and oh, God, the yes. same way uh, with me my uh, you know. I have someone else's life in my hand, my, their livelihood, their family, each and every week, and um, you know it's it's a it's a situation in which you 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 go from being a part of a team mm -hmm. to uh, being it, it's solely about you and another guy in a 20 by 20 ring, and uh, 
and you know God has a funny sense of humor because it, you know he's given me an opportunity to be in the spotlight in a lot of places going to Florida and in the Arena Football League and it seems like he's just gotten the crowd smaller and smaller uh, from 80,000 to uh, 25, 20,000 in arena football. Now right. I've been doing the same thing, right. except I'm running around butt naked with some boots on or <laughs> just about yeah. naked with just some boots on.